Hello my fellow miner, you are most likely thinking, did I click the wrong video? What about now, did that help? In this extremely boring and dry video I will show you how to transfer money from your wallet to an exchange, then convert it into ADA and then transfer it to another exchange. It will most likely be the most boring video you have ever watched and it will feel like someone is squishing your brain. You will need an OKEX exchange account, affiliate link in the description that will make me very rich, and a Binance account, again affiliate link in the description that will make me very rich. Or you can use Coinbase in case you already have that and you are not allowed to use Binance. Just remember that Binance is cheaper. Squishy brain. First up you would want to go to your pool and withdraw your coin. You can either write the amount yourself very slowly like an old person, or you can simply write zero and withdraw everything. And we are still patiently waiting for that zero. Yes, yes you did it, well done. While you still feel all jolly inside from all the success of withdrawing the money, go and open up your wallet. It is very important that you keep on refreshing your wallet until you can see the coin. If you only refresh once a minute it may not actually take you serious and just ignore you. Now refresh like you mean it. Next you go to OKEX, that is OK Exchange. You go and you find your cryptocurrency, which is Torncoin in this case. Of course that requires that you have an account, if you don't then there's an affiliate link in the description so I can buy myself a new pair of shoes after you have transferred your coin. It says here that it is very important that you write both the address correct and the comment. If you do not include the comment, your coin will disappear, just like if you use Tornpool. Back in your phone, click send torn coin, And wait, patiently, until it opens a camera that where you can now scan a QR code, but it actually doesn't work at all, but you keep trying until you get really frustrated. And then, at some point, you'll figure out that, hey, it's not actually worth it. I'll just email myself the uh, wallet address and the comment, and then I'll paste them in, because it's much faster. Unfortunately, here you have to write the number yourself. Remember to paste in the comment, or else your coin will disappear. Get eaten by the internet. It is very important that you enter them in very slowly, like a very old person, at least a hundred years old. After that, you sit, you wait, before you click confirm, because you have to read it like, I don't know, 20 times. While you are like 99% sure it is correct, you click confirm. You should get a very nice smiley. And then done. Your coin is gone. Forever. Now you head over to OK Exchange and you click Assets and then Deposit. There you refresh like crazy if you didn't have it open already. Now you should be able to see the transaction. It can take a while so you can go to the living room and dance to Party in the Elevator or Psycho Pig. When that is done, you head over to the Trading tab and start trading your Torn Coin. <sighs> there you search for Torn Coin slash USD. After again staring at the screen like a very old person, you decide to click it. And then you go, and maybe you click sell torn coin. But no, something is missing. You have to enter an amount. You think, okay, let me enter the amount myself. Yet again you find yourself being very old, just staring at the screen. And then you finally enter the amount and decide I'll press 100%. With that done, you sit, you stare at sell torn coin. Should you click it? Have you set the price correctly? No, you have actually not, but whatever, you're going to click it anyway. And then you go and you click confirm. Congratulations, you just sold all your torn coin. Now it's time for you to buy some ADA, but you can buy whatever other you want, but ADA is quite cheap when it comes to transfers. And that is due to ADA transfers actually being supported by most exchanges now. Anyway, you go, you select 100% and you click Buy ADA. And then you click Confirm. Congratulations, you now own a bunch of ADA. Some would tell me it is not called ADA, but ADA. That is fine, Darth Vader. I know what you are feeling now. This video is simply so exciting that you need to go subscribe. It is okay, I believe in you, you can do it. 
Now it's time to go click Assets again and then My Assets. It is completely okay to stare at the button for a long while before clicking it. There you can see your Darth Vader coins and now all you need to do is log into your other exchange, in my case is it Binance. There you need to select Ada and then Deposit and now you copy over the address. Very very exciting stuff I must say. Back in OK Exchange you paste in the address and you write what you want to call your address and then the amount you want to transfer after you like run around with the mouse on the screen for a while and figure out that oh you can just click there oh it's very smart after you have played around with the minimum fee which is 0 0.8 by the way then you decide to finally complete the transfer after you are stressed through the password and passcode hell you decide to click confirm Congratulations, you have now sent your coin Ada, to the next exchange and you have to wait yet again. And this is a very good time to start singing. Party, party, party in the elevator. I don't like no escalator, I'm not a hater. Party, party, party in the elevator. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Well, you get the point. You wait a very long time now. You sit, you refresh, you sit and you refresh. And then you refresh some more and nothing happens. It is super boring. So I don't think we need to see the confirm screen here. I think you get the point. This is a very good time for me to pimp some videos at you. If you haven't watched my Hivo S coverage of Torncoin, then head over to my channel and find it. Now you're most likely sitting and looking and thinking that he's stupid that donkey because you're using Windows and you have absolutely no use for that video. Well, don't worry, I got you covered. After some very nice feedback from the first video that I quote, you have destroyed Torncoin profits, unquote, then I decided to also make the Windows version. This has of course stirred the pot a little bit more and uh, I've gotten even more very nice messages that I am the destroyer of torn coin profits. Thank you very much for the positive feedback. I know that you shared your toys with others when you were small. The Windows version also contains updated overclock settings and how to use Nvidia SMI commands to lower the memory even further. If you do that, that will actually increase your hash rate, also in Hive OS. Congratulations my fellow miner, you have completed the tutorial. I do not know how you survived it, it is so boring. If you want to watch more boring videos, please subscribe. Maybe I will see you in the next one, if you survived. I am no hater, I just don't like escalators.